Chew Gamer here with another episode. Okay, today I've got a special video for all you wonderful people out there. And I'm going to display all of my PS4 sealed games I've got so far. Now, it's a very minute collection. It isn't quite Metal Jesus or Happy Console Gamer or John Hancock, you know, them big time. Um, game collecting channels out there but I started I started collecting sealed games by accident and was I ordered the game and it didn't come on the launch day so what I did I I ordered it I downloaded it digitally because I was anxious to play it and then it came a couple days later so I just kept it sealed okay guys Let's just get down to business and I'm going to showcase all the PS4 games I have sealed in my presence right now. Okay, I'm going to start with my favourites first, yeah? So, straight off the bat we've got Uncharted 2 and this is Among Thieves. This is the, the remastered version, it's not the original PS3 version. Then we have Star Wars Battlefront 2. This was an excellent game to be honest. I did like it, especially they had a VR DLC to go down with it. So there you have it. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Then we have Middle Earth Shadow of War. Excellent game again. And this still has all the DLC connected to it. As you see there, it includes Forge Your Army, your legendary Arc Champions, and Epic Sword of Dominion. It includes Forge Your Army. Four legendary or champions, and and um, an epic sword of dominion. There you have it. Shadow of War, great game. Another blockbuster game which I've got sealed. And this is an this is a unique version because it's the day one edition. So we have God of War 2018, guys, and it's all sealed up in all of its God of War glory, look at that. Day one edition, very hard to get. And if you look on, if you try and get this anywhere now, very rare. So God of War, day one edition. Another excellent remastered game, which they brought out, can't remember, I think it's 20, 2017 or 2018. And that is Crash Bandicoot, Insane Trilogy, superb game. I got a platinum for one of the games. I think it was, I think it was, yeah, it was just Crash Bandicoot 1. I didn't get that far in 2 or 3, but I definitely got my platinum for 1. But that was enough for me. Very frustrating game. Have you tearing your hair out, that's for sure. And we have... Dark Souls Remastered, which I've never played. I just got this in a deal and I just kept it sealed. I played Dark Souls 3 on the PC, but I've never played this. But I'm not really intended to play this, so I'm just going to keep it sealed for when I might just actually open it. But like I say, I'm, I've started collecting sealed games, so I probably never will open it. Then we have The Broken Game, WWE 2019, which for obvious reasons I probably will never want to play this. There you go, I'm going to keep it sealed anyway and add to my collection there. WWE, AJ Styles on the front and it includes the Rey Mysterio and Ronda Rousey pack. Now I've just got this for collecting purposes only. Because as you know, it's free digitally, so I've already downloaded it. And yeah, the reason why I got this is because 
lessons learned from Fortnite. I had the original disc copy in 2016. I sold it and now it's worth a fortune because it decided to go all digital in the future. So there you have it, Apex Legends and this is the Bloodhound Edition one. I believe there was another version of this which they brought out. And then we got the excellent game Steep and this is the Gold Edition so you get all the additional DLC and more with this. Superb game, if you haven't played Steep it's a great game. Once you start playing it, you just get addicted to it straight away. Now, this is my favourite fighting game of all time. So, I had to get this, although I've got multiple versions of this. And the reason why I got this for the PS4, didn't need to open it because I, I bought it on my Switch as well. But this is Street Fighter. 30th anniversary collection and it's got all the games most of the Street Fighter games from back in the day from Street Fighter from Street Fighter 1 to Street Fighter 3 and all of that there you go on the back you can pause it if you want to see exactly what comes of it but they're all the Street Fighter games included with this with this version of the game Street Fighter 30th 30th anniversary collection and then they brought out a new one this year and this has if you're if you've got Street Fighter 5 you know you have to um, collect all the fight money and whatnot to buy all the characters and the costumes but if you get this edition and this is the Street Fighter 5 Champions edition it comes with everything all the characters all the costumes everything done and dusted, bada bing bada boom, you've got the complete version of Street Fighter, don't need to um, grind for any fight money ever again, so I've, no I've only got one version of this but I've got the original version of Street Fighter, so I'm still, I won't, um, I won't bother open this because I just play that because I bought most of the the characters anyway so yeah this is definitely one for the collection realm and then I've got only just the one game for my PSVR and that is Sorrento I think that's how you pronounce it not too sure but this is supposed to be an epic game haven't even played it yet guys because I'm gonna buy it I'm going to buy another version of this so I might just download it, I don't know if it goes cheap on the PlayStation Store but there you guys, you see that it's got 90 out of 100 for how great the game is, that's how highly they rate this game, so if you've got PSVR it's definitely to give this one a try Let's see if you like it Sorrento PSVR Okay. okay, last but not least, we got a very recent game, which I quite enjoyed playing this game, I don't know. The only downfall is, is that they missed out a couple of scenes, but other than that, it was an excellent game. The visuals are just out of this world. Outstanding graphics. Superb gameplay, and and depending on what version you get, you get kind of like a 3D cover and then if you put it in certain angles you get different different movements from Carlos and Jill Valentine and this has come sealed and the reason why this is sealed for me guys is because I got a collector's edition and I wasn't too sure if I was going to actually get the collector's edition so I bought a separate one as well just in case it didn't come in time but, but for my astonishment they both arrived at the same time on launch day so there you have it Resident Evil 3 the remake and this remake and this is all sealed looking spick and spam 
wonderful. So that's it. These are all my sealed games. All one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13 so 13 so far and counting so stay tuned there's going to be more when I double when I double my collection I'll make another video but until then I just hang tight with what I got and it's satisfying for me I still think it's pretty it's pretty decent compared to what I had last year I think I had about two or three but I've started to build on them now a lot of people will think it's a waste of time like collecting sealed sealed copies of games or sealed copies of anything and not opening it but it's all down to your personal preference if that's what you want to do who cares what they think you're the one collecting them and it satisfies you but um yeah, a lot of people would wouldn't see the point in it, as I say. But like I say, it has some games will have a some value to it. So the more you keep it sealed, and and the more time goes on, it the price will keep escalating. And sometimes you just want to have like if you like the game so much, it's one of your favorite games, although. You may have played it. You just want that piece of um, memorabilia to um, to remain with you. Okay, guys. So, okay, guys. That about just does it for this episode. So, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Even better, subscribe. Till next time, see ya. And I'm gonna leave you with the famous slogan that keeps on getting repeated by Boris Johnson and Co. Stay home, protect the NHS, save lives.